Hello and welcome to the middle of the week. Today I'd like to have a quick chat about Ski Free. Ski Free is a game developed by Chris Pirrie, bundled with the Microsoft Entertainment Pack 3 released in 1991. The Entertainment Pack series provided a number of titles for users to play in their shiny new Windows environment, given that most games were still firmly DOS releases. These aren't huge engrossing games by any stretch of the imagination, more frivolous titles to play during your lunch break or just provide a welcome distraction from serious work. But Ski Free always stood out, it was mindless but also addictive. The premise is very simple, using the mouse or arrow keys you control a skier on his journey down a never ending mountain. There are three routes to choose from, selectable by skiing through the appropriate starting flags. Slalom is a race against the clock, whilst keeping between the red and blue flags to avoid penalties. Freestyle is all about racking up the tricks and jumps, activated by clicking the mouse. Whilst Tree Slalom adds further obstacles to the slalom concept, including snowboarders, dogs, stumps, and trees, obviously. Of course, if you choose to go around any of these starting flags, then you're in free mode and you can do as you please. Not that you couldn't in any of the other modes. But of course, the most entertaining and memorable part of the game is the abominable snow monster, who descends upon you after 2000 meters. Your task then is to keep your distance and avoid entering his abominable belly. There are actually three more of these creatures guarding a rectangular boundary 1000 meters to the left and right, and even 125 vertically. There are a few other quirks as well, pressing F will double the speed of the gameplay, and the never ending slope is actually a wraparound which is 2048 meters in any direction. And there are 16 pixels per meter. There are also numerous bugs and cheats which Chris holds his hands up to, given it was created simply as a programming exercise for fun more than anything else. At its core, the game is much like skiing on the Atari 2600, but that was a proper commercial game, and Ski Free was never really intended to be a commercial title at all. In early 1991, Chris was working as a programmer for Microsoft, with his main role to write programming utilities for other programmers. This was a time when OS2 was still a Microsoft product, and so Chris spent most of his time assisting with that. However, with Windows 3 gaining momentum, he decided it was time to practice some programming in what could be Microsoft's main product. Years earlier, he had created a skiing game for VT100 terminals in Fortran, which was actually inspired by the Atari 2600 game, and so took to task creating a Windows version. This version would be written in C and created entirely in Chris's spare time. So one day Chris found himself having a quick dabble at work when the Windows Entertainment Pack program manager noticed this landscape whizzing past on his screen and decided the game needed to be part of the next Windows Entertainment Pack. Chris had named it Winski, but it was renamed Ski Free, with Chris paid a token one-off fee for its inclusion. Little did he know what an impact it would have on the lives of Windows users. Most of this, I'll add, I've gleamed from Chris's website at ski.ihoc.net, but Chris goes on to write how challenging it was to get good performance out of the slow VGA hardware of the time, especially with the layers of abstraction between software and hardware kindly served up by Windows. To help, he designed an algorithm combining overlapping objects into one through a Boolean function. This created flicker-free visuals which even ran on 286 machines coupled with EGA graphics. In 1993, Chris started work on a follow-up with improved physics, networked multiplayer, AI opponents and even sounds, but the source code was lost through the daily tasks of other projects, and Ski Free 2 was no more. However, this is far from where the story ends. The Game Boy Color's Best of Microsoft Entertainment Pack included Ski Free in 2001, naturally given Ski Free was the most memorable of the bunch. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite the same and there was some irritating music playing throughout, but at least it was there. In 2005, Chris found the source code for Ski Free 1.03 and released a 32-bit version which you can download and play even on Windows 10. This, this is the dream. 
Across the web you'll find numerous sites dedicated to the game, including Chris's own, which includes sounds for the snow monster, <laughs> along with a recorded message left by a fan on his answer machine. There's even a ski free fan fiction forum with tales of chilling terror. All I had ever known was the mountain. In fact, every waking moment found me on the mountain. Not but from its formidable body sprouted two equally spindly arms, each tipped with thin hands. Right hand behind me, I can feel it charging after me. For me, Ski Free is just a title which invokes feelings of fun from the mid 90s. It's one of those games you forget about until someone mentions, what about that skiing game for Windows? And you suddenly think, oh my god, Ski Free. What an amazing thing that was. After which you of course have to find a copy and play it immediately. And that's kind of what happened with me and this video. And that's why I've been playing Ski Free for most of today. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great evening.